Question 1. What is Microsoft SharePoint Portal Server? Answer. MS SharePoint Portal Server is an integrated suite from server side to help improve organizational effectiveness with the help of providing comprehensive content management, enterprise search, accelerating shared business processes, facilitating information sharing across boundaries, provides platform which includes server administration, application extensibility and interoperability for IT professionals. Question 2. What are zones in SharePoint? Answer. Different logical paths of gaining access to the same SharePoint web application. Five types of zones. Internet zone, intranet, default, extranet, custom. Question 3. What are web application policies? Answer. Enable security policy for users at the web application level, rather than at the site collection or site level. Importantly, they override all other security settings. Question 4. What is a site collection? Answer. A site collection contains a top-level website and can contain one or more subsites websites that have the same owner and share administration settings. Question 5. What are content databases? Answer. A content database can hold all the content for one or more site collections. Question 6. What is a site? Answer. A site in SharePoint contains web pages and related assets such as lists, all hosted within a site collection. Question 7. How is SharePoint Portal Server different from the site server? Answer. SharePoint Portal Server, website creation for information sharing and document collaboration is treated as services by SharePoint Portal Server. SharePoint Server services a key information worker infrastructure that provides additional functionality to the MS Office system applications. Site Server, manages websites with multiple technologies content management, product management, order processing, Advertisement serving are some of the functionalities. Question 8. How is security managed in SharePoint? Answer. SharePoint uses digital dashboard technology that provides an interface for the purpose of creating web parts and making them appear them on dashboards. The security is applicable throughout the organization. Question 9. What is Windows SharePoint Services? Answer. Creation of websites for information sharing and document collaboration will be enabled by Windows SharePoint Services. It provides additional functionality for MS Office system and other desktop applications. It also supports like a platform for the development of applications. Question 10. What are the hardware and software requirements for SharePoint 2010? Answer. Hardware requirements. Processor 64-bit, 4-core, 2.5 GHz minimum per core. RAM 4 GB for developer or evaluation use. 8 GB for single server and multiple server farm installation for production use. Hard disk 80 GB for installation for production use. You need additional free disk space for day-to-day -day operations. Add twice as much free space as you have RAM for production environments. Software requirements. The 64-bit edition of Windows Server 2008 standard with SP2. If you are running Windows Server 2008 without SP2, the Microsoft SharePoint Products and Technologies 2010 preparation tool installs Windows Server 2008 SP2 automatically. Question 11. How is BCS different from BDC in SharePoint? Answer. Even though the BDC made it relatively easy to create read-only solutions that display data in the business data list web part, it was not so simple to create a solution that enabled users to make changes and write that data back to the external store. BCS, on the other hand, provides you with read-write capable connectivity from client and server to database, WCF, web services and net sources. A developer can now use SharePoint Designer 2010 and VS 2010 Rapid Development Tools to access external data. Question 12. Can we create a single set of services that will be shared across the farm? Answer. Similar to the SSP model in Office SharePoint Server 2007, a single set of services can be shared by all sites in a farm by publishing a service application from the sharing group. Under Service Application tab, you can share it across server farms. This capability does not apply to all service applications, and some services can be shared only within a single server farm. 
Question 13. What are managed accounts? Answer. To reduce the load of managing various service accounts in Microsoft SharePoint Server 2010, the concept of managed accounts has been introduced. Much like managed accounts in Windows Server 2008, they allow SharePoint Server to take control of all the service accounts you use. After SharePoint Server has control of these accounts, it can either manage their passwords, automatically changing them as necessary, or it can notify you when an account's password is about to expire, allowing you to make the change yourself. Question 14. What is Link? How is it used in SharePoint? Answer. Link is a feature of the programming languages c 3.0 and Visual Basic.net. Link allows you to query in an object-oriented way, supports compile time check, gives you IntelliSense support in Visual Studio and defines a unified, SQL-like syntax to query any data source. But unlike other languages and query syntaxes which vary from one type of data source to another, Link can be used to query in principle, any data source whatsoever. Hence, developers may find that it is the only query syntax that they ever need to know. It is commonly used to query objects collections, XML and SQL server data sources. Link to SharePoint is officially being supported with the 2010 release. It works similar to Link to SQL or Link to Entity. The Link to SharePoint provider is defined in the Microsoft SharePoint link namespace. It translates link queries into collaborative application markup language CAML queries. The gateway class for the Link to SharePoint provider is Microsoft SharePoint link data context which represents the data of a SharePoint Foundation website. Question 15. How to export a site or list in SharePoint 2010? Answer. SharePoint Server 2010 provides several new features that provide a granular level of backup for various components of site content. This includes content at the site, subsite, and list level. Through central administration, granular level backup, a SharePoint administrator can configure a backup of a subsite or list. An administrator can choose a site and a specific list to be exported. The administrators can also choose to export security and select the different versions that will be exported with the list. Question 16. What is Enterprise Metadata Management? Answer. Enterprise Metadata Management AIM, is a set of features introduced in Microsoft SharePoint Server 2010 that enable taxonomists, librarians, and administrators to create and manage terms and sets of terms across the enterprise. The Managed Metadata Service, is a service application that enables the use of managed metadata and allows you to share content types across site collections and across web applications. The service publishes a term store and content types, and the metadata is consumed via the managed metadata connection. A managed metadata service and connection are created when the metadata service application is created. Question 17. What are web applications in SharePoint? Answer. An ES website created and used by SharePoint 2010. Saying an ES virtual server is also an acceptable answer. Question 18. What is an application pool? Answer. A group of one or more URLs that are served by a particular worker process or set of worker processes. Question 19. Why are application pools important? Answer. They provide a way for multiple sites to run on the same server but still have their own worker processes and identity. Question 20. What is the difference between classic mode authentication and claims-based authentication? Answer. As the name implies, classic authentication supports anti-authentication types like Kerberos, NTLM, Basic, Digest, and Anonymous. Claims-based authentication uses claims identities against or against a trusted identity provider.